You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! All right, yo, man, 15 Minutes of Fame. Salute, Craig Lamar. Drugs. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, fellas? Y'all just had the worst face-off in history, according to Cassidy. Yeah, man. Uh, Cassidy. I, I, again, it's, I guess, I know y'all ain't, you know, the best of friends going on double dates and shit like that, but what is it, you know, like, why? Why, why y'all don't want to talk shit? With me, it was just, um, you know, I'll be, I'll be real in my face-off. I, I had times where I say some shit, talk shit, whatever. But when you respect somebody different, when you actually, uh, I'm actually a fan too of his work. So I wasn't just, I ain't gonna go in there and act like, you know what I'm saying? That I, I didn't like him so much or, or be loud, extra loud. Or right. I, I've been real with it. I just said what I said. And I ain't feeling no type of way to it. Y'all see my other face off, but if I do feel, feel some type of way about somebody, I say it. If I feel like I, I, I free on, I say it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he fired, he been putting in work. You know what I'm saying? I'm just honored for them to even reach out to me for his call because I've been out for a minute. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really been. Only like him, he been putting that work. So for them to even reach out and be like, hey, let me put you against Ace. Ace been doing his thing, and I've been, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really been doing my thing. Like, I'm gonna be real. So I just feel honored that he would even accept the battle, that he even put me even on the same, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Call with him. So, so it was just, I was just, it was just respect, man. I just, I just that's how I feel about it. So that's why I ain't really saying nothing. About it. It's Ramadan. Man. I'm not supposed to be doing none of this. I'm really out of pocket. I booked this battle and didn't even know that. That it was during the time. Because Ramadan floats. It's like it's not the same time right It's like 12 days ahead. So I didn't really plan for it the way that I should have. If I'd have known, I would have took the belt. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm not supposed to be arguing and yelling. And, and that's, I mean, truthfully. But in terms of like, even like, with him, like, it's the same as what he said. Like, like Jamie, I was a fan. It's fan part of your job, right? So if I ask this question, right? Um, man, why, why am I going to cop this pay-per-view? Why Do I really want to see two dudes because go up there and compliment each other? No, no, you know what I mean? Like, If you're in tune with, with battle rap, you know that I'm one of the most aggressive performers no matter whom I'm battling. Mm. And you know, yeah. like, you know what he do. Like, he's going to rap. Like, he's not about that. Bro, don't mistake in professional respect for... Like, the professional... And that's what I was trying to explain to Cassidy, which he didn't really... You know what I'm saying? He, didn't, he wasn't too receptive to. Is... Um, the respect and the courtesy in battle rap, that comes with me going on stage and act trying to kill you. When I really, when you really respect somebody in battle rap, you try to kill them. Right. Because right. Your, your respect for them is going to put a little fear in you, saying, damn, if I don't try to kill him, I might die. When you don't respect your opponent, that's when you get like less of for other performances. Hmm. When you respect your opponent, you see, when, you, when a person respects the stage, the opponent, and the opportunity, You'll see it in a good performance. It reflects in a good performance, a great performance. Right. So that's when I said, I said, no, I respect him. He said he respects. That's not when he respects me. The way he's gonna show that he respects me, he's gonna try to kill me. It's almost like in a fight when you know when you my know man can fight. Out, I'm, I'm not fight. running up on him. Play. Yeah, I'm not if just you know, running up. When you fight an opponent and you know he can fight, what do you do? You fight better. Right. You don't, you don't make mistakes. You don't take chances. Same as battle. Right? But but are you better than him though? And if so, what are the what, what are the what are the you what qual like, oh. what is it? What is the I'm trying, you know, I'm talking to you. I can't even word my shit so right. If I'm, if I'm if I'm all the way 100%, he's a better puncher than you. Better puncher than you. Okay. He is also more prone to have a momentum based uh haymakers. Okay. He runs real good. Okay. Me, I'm more aggressive than him. I'm a little bit more um I talk a little bit more in terms of like content. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm not going to say that I'm better than him. I'm going to say that I'm different than him. And then the way we're gonna find out who's better, it's the moment. That's it. Like I'm not better. He's a bro. You, he lightweight a legend. Like I know that sounds crazy. I know that sounds crazy. Before y'all kill me in the comment section, let me, let me, let me. The nigga been around, bro. He done battled. I was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, it's insane. <laughs> wow, me and interview. Oh, bro, I saw it in my peripheral. I saw it in my peripheral. It's insane. <laughs> so I'm saying to say like, like. He he's been around. He's a battle. He's a battle the JCs. He's a battle the Young Cannon. He's a battle the, the Chef Shreds. Like he's been outside. He's about the press mafia. He done battle, bro. Like he done. I'm a, like I said before I even battle him, fan. I'm saying that to say the nigga's talented. Like it's not for me to say like or oh, act like he ain't been. I'm like, oh, he been around. He's a battle. He been around. He's been on stage. He know he know what's going on. He know how to rap really well. So I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna. It's not for me to say I'm better than him. It's for me to demonstrate that I'm better than him. You know what I'm saying? So that like. And it's no animosity. Like, it's no, I don't have an angry bone in my body towards him personally. There's nothing 
There's nothing there, so I'm not gonna get in there and without him or anybody initiating any type of talk, like, yeah, I'm confident in what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I believe that I can win the battle. Yeah, all that good stuff, but if I say that and then go there, who cares that I believe that I could beat him? Who cares that I was confident that I could beat him and I went up there and got 30? I can walk away with that because I know that doesn't have to be, oh, I'm gonna fuck you up. Ah, I know we don't need, we don't have to have that between it's we love it, yeah. but you don't have to have that in order to get a good battle. And you said it. Some people have crazy face offs. And, and trash battles. Anybody specific that might do that? Anybody that might have been involved in it? <laughs> that might do that? <laughs> 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 Shout out you think to Cassidy's bat, uh, uh, face offs are better than his battles? I think his promotion is better than his. Really yeah, the recent battle. Ah. I think he's one of the greatest rappers ever. Mm. Let's get that straight, man. It's not a personal slight to him at all. He's one of my favorite. I, I sat down at the table and was quoting. Yeah, but I asked him, he was ever recorded this, and he told me, he's like, that song. You know what I'm saying? And he told me a backstory behind, like, when he when he did the aim for the head, when you see him go get him freestyle, Snack recorded it. That was Snack on camera. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't know it. But I, this is, you, know you think full circle. Like, man, I was supposed to battle with dollars in 05. He was all that. Like, he was, you know what I'm saying? We realized it was the battle in 2005. You, you should be media. I do media. I do some media. My perspective is, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, I rap. I'm pretty, I'm all right. When, when, I, when I get too at, when I get, when I'm not good anymore at this, in terms of rapping, that was almost insane. That was almost insane. <laughs> Edit that out, man. I'm not editing shit. <laughs> oh, we're not doing that. <laughs> really? Oh, we're uh, not really? doing that. <laughs> really? I had to try, man. I had to try. We're not doing finally. Uncle Raw, you can never you, catch this motherfucker. You motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Your interview's always wild, man. Yeah, when this, you enjoy it, always But listen, I know both of y'all. His his beat. Don't beat me up. As long as we get th three complete rounds from y'all, we are being very Good. entertained. Absolutely. Bottom line. Absolutely. Whether y'all argue in the face off or not, I know yeah. skill wise, if I can get three complete rounds for both of y'all, we're in for a good night. You know how to promote. That's Everybody a fact. Know how to oh, that's a fact. Know how to that's a fact. The problem with me is, am I going to execute? So I'd rather focus on the execution for this battle. You know what I'm saying? I respect the opponent. I respect, I respect the stage. I respect the event. I respect everything about this event that's, that's going on. And I would rather fulfill that part of it as opposed to getting in there and faking animosity. That's why I just start talking I to Cassidy. Know. I ain't never like doing that. For yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, start, I'm gonna talk to Cassidy instead because I know he's a, you know, you see what he did. He's, he made he, he made face off about him and it was excellent after that. That's cool. He's great at that. He can sell he can sell coke to a coke can. You know what I mean? Ace I mean, Craig Lamar. Yes yeah, sir. Yeah, sir. Tomorrow. <laughs> Drugs. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> So, uh, tomorrow, yeah, what yeah. time? What time is it? What, what time two. is the pay per view? Two, two, two. o'clock Pacific. Right? It's five o'clock Eastern. Finish the promo. Uh, create for you, March twenty fifth, coming to the Global Theater in downtown Los Angeles. Be there or be square. <laughs> yeah. Fifteen minutes of fame. You are now listening to Fifteen Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go.